It is neutralized. SCP-2912, object class neutralized. Special containment procedures. The remains of SCP-2912-1, SCP-2912-2, and, and dash 3 are to be remain or preserved within individual cryogenic storage units at Biological Containment Site-66. SCP-2912 are to be held in isolation within individual humanoid containment units at Biological Biological Containment Site 66, SCP-2912 instances must be fed a strict diet of circus peanuts <laughs> and sugar water that has been artificially colored purple. <laughs> oh my god, how are they gonna ruin this? <laughs> Foundation positions are to remain on standby despite knowledge of SCP-2912 healthy and, bio and biology being extremely limited at the sign. Description SP-2912 des designates th three roughly humanoid organisms resembling typical circus clowns. Dash 1, Dash 2, and Dash 3. Genetically close to humans, all instances sharing a relatively recent common ancestor in Homo sapiens sapiens. SCP-2912 entities have slash had undergone severe and very corporeal and psychological augmentations. All contained instances of SB-2912 were abruptly neutralized on November 16, 1998. The incident determined to be entirely accidental and blamed placed on 20% of interest for 4569's failure to communicate, communicate relevant information to Foundation personnel. SCP-29-1 Overview An almost entirely spherical body, complete lack of a skeletal system. While its legs, arms, and head did exist, they were found to be vestigial and heavily atrophied. Closely resembling an air-filled balloon, SCP-1 uh, was able to transport itself through the air via an internal gas bladder. Created from the left lung, so grossly enlarged that it occupied the majority of internal space and modified anal sphincter. Black and white skin forming horizontal stripes around its body, capable of extending a long black tongue. The act pr producing a vocalization similar to the sound pr produced by party horns. Although its level of intelligence could not be ascertained, it was at least capable of understanding, understanding several English words, mostly in the form of commands. Dash 2 Overview An unusual tall 2.56 meters and spindly with the exception of its left hand and abdomen, which, which both appear bloated, humanoid organism. Capable as tall as a, as a really tall basketball player. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone was ever that tall. Yeah. If someone that tall exists, I, I don't need Probably. Anyway, capable of producing music from its from its asymmetrical and disjointed body. Vertebrae are comparatively large and oddly shaped, producing sounds similar to a xylophone in use, which songs appear to differ in correlation with the present angle of Dash 2's spine. I was able to create these sounds without directly striking individual vertebrae was never deduced. The left hand was large and flat and used to strike its bloated abdomen. The resulting sounds similar to those produced by bass drums. Its face lacked eyes, had a bulbous red nose, capable of honking despite being entirely organic. It was primarily dominated by a large mouth, devoid of lips. Yellow skin covered in red polka dots. Oh no, they're gonna ruin that. Organizations failed to correspond with any known musical instrument, but have been described by Foundation musicologists as resembling an accordion crossed with an ondes rotanenat, which is 
an early electronic musical instrument invented in 1928 by Maurice Martinet. Okay. Officially higher intelligence than other SCP-2912 entities, and was able to compose unique music when it commanded to do so. Music produced by Dash 2 triggered some emotional responses among listeners. It remains unknown whether it's this reaction was anomalous or simply an unexplainable unexpl psychological response. Dash 3 Overview Resembled by electrical human more closely than Dash 1 and, or Dash 2, the appearance of face paint is part of its natural appearance. Laughter was apparently its only form of vocalization. The snows represented a tornado hazard and triggered uncontrollable laughter among its listeners, lasting for 6 to 32 hours. An ability to create cream pie seemingly out of thin air. It is speculated that nearby matter was transmuted and teleported to Dash 3 in a form of cream pies. Data expunged. These anomalies were discovered on October 5th, 1998, after a raid on a fairground that had hosted Herman's Fuller Circus of the Disquieting. Only minutes before the arrival of Foundation operatives, one small tent was left behind. The others, having vanished as operatives approached inside, were Dash 1, Dash 2, Dash 3, and put it in person of interest, 4969. Then there's a chance if things are. Instead of suggesting what I think it is, then these SCPs probably originally started as children. Human children. Yeah, I forgot how bad, uh, how fucked up Hermes Fuller Circus was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, interviewed Dick C. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? Dixie Norman. Yes. Yep. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Why? Subject is a Caucasian male between 40 to 60 years of age. <laughs> In footnote, this is presumably not his real name, but he's refused to offer any other. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, in the footnote next to his name, no, the five thing, it says this is presumably not his real name, but he has refused to offer any other. <laughs> oh, that, that's beautiful. <laughs> that means they're aware it's not their, their voice. Not voice, but name. Alright, I guess I'll start reading now. <laughs> you want me to do the SCP Dash 3 voice? I mean, if you want to. Might make it a little easier. Alright. Dr. Dillman, please explain what you were doing prior to your apprehension. Out of your ass. I'm going to work and do Mr. Fuller ain't exactly close. So you remember of Herman's Fuller Circus of the Disquieting? Yeah, what's it to you? What is your profession? Clown breeder. Excuse me. You deaf? I'm a motherfucking clown. <laughs> How exactly does one become a clown breeder? Father's father was a clown. My father's father, father, father. Oh, he was a horse feeder. <laughs> <laughs> and what does this job actually entail? Use that fucking stupid. It's in the goddamn name. Enlighten me. I breed clowns. I see. This is an old profession. You imagine your father and grandfather. Well, in the real old days, it didn't have no breeders. In fact, the best we had was child breakers. Child breakers. Well, I think all freaks get born that way. Body does a lot of growing when young. 
just got to help it along a certain path. Back then, you could only make a hunchback now. They deserve a lot of credit. I mean, the Laughing Man, Turtle Boy, help. the Inside Out Girl, they were done the old way. Katusta, I think that is all you need at the moment. Thank you for your time. I think that was the yeah. was that the first time you heard that voice, Jerry? No. Oh yeah, that's right. You're you're on there when I did that voice in SP reading. I gave it to a perfect character too. <laughs> no. On no November sixteenth, nineteen ninety eight, SP twenty nine twelve entity self terminated between four hundred and six hundred. Video revealed no changes in behavior prior to the neutralization event when SCP-2912 instances abruptly exploded. Their containment units coated in blood, mascara, confetti, and viscous, viscous black liquid of uncertain purpose. When confronted about this incident, Person of Interest 4569 stated, <laughs> You fucking shit eater and forgot to milk a clown, didn't you? Way to ruin a decade of work. The milk. <laughs> Dendum. An incident occurred on December 25th, 1998, when video surveillance within Person of Interest 4569 cell showed the door opening. While external video depicted the door is closed and no alarm was triggered, during this time, the faint sound of galopy of music became audible within the cell and Twenty person of interest forty five six nine proceeded to converse with an unidentified individual. You know the sound of a lot of that's actually uh typical. Oh. Unidentified individual voice is notably deep and intonal, but words are muffled and inaudible. About time when you got here. Is that a smile or a frown? <laughs> Never tell with you. Unidentified individual, inaudible. Liability, come on. You the best fucking got in full or oh my god. The unidentified individual then briefly enters the cell. They appear muscular, but further details are obscured by a cloud of what appears to be smoke. Which permeates the cell via the near anomalous doorway. Person of interest 4569 cried for help. The security personnel were unable to reach him in time. An autopsy revealed that his cause of death was acute my myocardial inf infar infarction. Infar oh. Infarction? More commonly known as a heart attack. <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna ruin this? I bet you, I bet you sincerely, they're gonna change the name. Also, I'm gonna comment. They've had uh, clown milking in a SCP article, but I don't think they ever meant how the fuck you milk a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you ready for the thumbnail? <laughs> Don't you know people love clowns? <laughs> That's a four. That's a four. At least they did two of them correctly. <laughs> I don't feel like they did them fully correctly. Oh wait. They took the yellow skin from the guy's face. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Are you ready to see the, the, the video itself? Okay. Alright, let's see if they actually contain the license. Oh, 
They did. I guess they're going to do it for every anomaly, hopefully. I hope they don't go over clown circus thing. What? what? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Johnny hadn't been to the circus for the past two years. His dad refused to. Johnny hadn't what been the to fuck? the circus for the past two years. His dad refused to take him after what happened last time. It had been a great uh, evening. Johnny had seen elephants, high wire racks, and even had his fortune told. In case you were wondering, his future looked bright and happy. However, about an hour before closing time, as people started to leave and the circus grounds emptied out, Johnny had followed the bearded lady, hoping to get a better look. It was only about five minutes later that he realized he was lost. He appeared to be around the tents and carriages that the performer stayed while the circus was set up and running. Most of them looked the same to him, and he quickly became more and more confused. It wasn't until he rounded a carriage with the label, The Great Carvassian, that he saw the bright lights of the big top. It couldn't have come soon enough. Truth be told, he was on the verge of tears. He let out a sigh of relief. Too soon. Just as he was about to enter the clearing, a shadow emerged in front of him, blocking his path to freedom. It was a strange shadow. The feet appeared enormous, the body large and obese, the ears and nose abnormal. Johnny's breath caught in his lungs as the creature who owned this shadow stepped in front of him. He heard his name over Johnny. and over again. Shouts Johnny. of help rang out in his ears, but he couldn't Johnny. quite focus his hearing or his eyes. Johnny. Slowly, he began to focus and the blurriness in his eyes retracted. He was on the ground, looking up into his father's eyes. His father smiled with relief and called out to the group which had descended on us that I was fine. His boy was going to be fine. A large, gloved hand reached out and patted his father on the back. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I just came from around the back of Carvassian's carriage and saw your boy. Honestly, I didn't do anything. He just collapsed. I'm so sorry. His father looked back at the man and assured him it wasn't his fault. Probably just a hot summer air, or low blood sugar. The man gently squatted down next to his father, his face coming into focus. It was him. It was that thing he saw. Johnny screamed and wailed. He shut his eyes hard and pulled his face into his father's chest. His father comforted him and looked at the man next to him. The clown looked back. Why does the clown look like a pig? And regret. That was all in the past. Johnny had gone over his fear of clowns. Sure, they were still kind of creepy, but after the man had taken off his makeup and costume, Johnny knew it was just a gag. It was just make-believe, and there was nothing to fear. It was early October. The year was 1998, and Johnny was at Herman Fuller's Circus of the Discovery. Oh no. Truth be told, this didn't seem like the last circus. He couldn't put his finger on it, but things seemed stranger here. For one, there were a lot more freaks than was typical. His father had told him about P.T. Barnum and the oddities that used to be in those shows. He'd also told him those days were done and gone. It seemed Mr. Fuller hadn't received the memo. Nonetheless, he was determined to have a good time. He wasn't going to let a little clown phobia ruin this night. People were circulating around the various acts and sideshows, the sounds of parents laughing and kids screaming, with joy and perhaps a little fear, was all around. What was that? A new act Johnny hadn't heard of? He saw a man that looked to be dressed in a scientist coat, surrounded with what looked to be some kind of law enforcement. They had protective clothing on, and though he didn't see- Hold on. They wouldn't make themselves known! No, they wouldn't. <laughs> Why do you think they call themselves secret agents? SCP agents dress like normal- Like, they may have, like, bulletproof armor underneath their clothes, but they wouldn't make themselves no noticeable. Well, let's keep going. Yeah. Any weapons, they didn't look like they were unarmed either. They all had some badges on them, which looked like a circle with three arrows pointing to the middle. Of course, it was some sort of act. It made perfect sense. 
Oh must my be god. A sort of show. It was a circus after all, and they thrive on performance art. The men moved off into the distance. They appeared to be looking for something or someone. As the night wore on, Johnny had seen all sorts of weird and wonderful things. It was shortly after having a hot What's dog going on with that your he told eyes? his dad he needed to use the restroom. With hardly a notice, his dad smiled and said, Sure, sure. I'll be over at the Amazon tent. If you can't see me, just look out for the red balloon. Without another word, his dad was off. Ah, uh, yes. Hand, Child so abandonment. Really interested in that act. With a shrug, Johnny headed to the bathroom stalls. It was a little walk to the They were near a back corner, assumedly to keep the smell, drunks, and smokers away from the main areas. As Johnny finished and headed out of the bathroom, he heard laughter. It seemed quite far away still, but there it was again. He flushed the toilet and walked out to the continued sound of laughter. But now, Wait. it sounded more. None of those toilets can flush. No, they can't. Oh my god. It was hard to describe, but it was as if the person laughing wanted to stop, or somehow couldn't stop laughing. The laughter continued, more and more pain. At that moment, something flew by his face and hit the wall just behind him. He fell back to the floor and turned his head to see what he had narrowly avoided. What was that? Was it a cream pie? Had someone just thrown a cream pie at him? Another. This time on his other side. Some practical joke. Probably those guys laughing were throwing them at him. But their laughter didn't sound very funny anymore. He looked around and could see nothing. He seemed to be all alone. Then he saw it. That thing he had been waiting to see all night. It was just a shadow with the moonlight. Oh my god. Him, but he knew what it was. A clown. It walked towards him and laughed. Johnny screamed out. That's not funny. It just continued walking towards him, giggling and laughing. Johnny called out again. Stop it. I'll tell my father about this if you don't. The clown just kept coming. Johnny could feel the fear in him rising up again. It's just a clown, a person with the, in a suit. The Apparently. I want to make sure they actually say... None of what gender? gender right. I mean, the, they are so clown like and mutated, but the gender is unknown. Right. <laughs> he just made this one a woman. Yeah. That's a pity. <laughs> it's just a clown, a person in a suit. He tried to control his nerves, but he could feel his heartbeat rising into his throat. He didn't have to face this clown. He could run. With that thought, he jumped to his feet and took off as fast as he could. He he would be under the effects because he was close enough. Yeah. Oh my god. To the big tent. Back to his dad. Back to the crowds where it was safe. He heard something zoom past his head, but he kept running, not daring to look. That horrible laughter faded away. Where was the Amazon exhibit? He looked high and low, but couldn't find it. There were people everywhere, and he couldn't see where his dad had disappeared off to. Uh -oh. In the corner of his eye, he caught that scientist and his agents, apparently now in a rush, hitting in the direction he had just come from. The direction of the cream pie clown, and her laughter. Whatever, that was all behind him now. As he wandered about through the crowd, searching for his dad, he caught a glimpse of a man disappear into a large tent. He ran over and saw the sign of the tent, Route 666. The last thing he wanted was some sort of scary ride or passage, but he needed to find his dad and get out of here. It was dark and smelled damp. Everything was lit in red light with eerie howls coming over a cheap sound system. On his left was what looked like a haunted house. On his right, a graveyard. He progressed on, sure his father couldn't have made it that far inside. After all, he was only a minute or two okay, ahead of him. This is more about the fucking circus than the clowns. We haven't heard anything about the three they captured. Yeah. <laughs> he yelled out for his father, Dad! After a moment, he heard a reply. It was faint. It sounded like his name. 
It seemed to be coming from a little deeper in the ride. He cautiously moved on. He turned the corner to find a beach. It was dark, littered with garbage. The water looked putrid and stagnant, and a terrible makeshift shark fin was cutting through the water. In the middle was an umbrella, a towel on the sand, and a beach ball lying in the sand. He was sure the sound had come from here. He walked onto the sand and looked around. There is nothing here, and no place to hide. He must be hearing things. In his frustration, he kicked the beach ball, only for it to stay in place and wobble. He fell down with a start. The beach ball was attached to the ground? Why? What for? Then, the sand started to shift. Something, something was under that beach ball. It was under the sand. A hand came out of the sand and stood oh itself upright. The left hand then came out, but it was engorged and bloated. The body started to rise <laughs> out of the sand. That's when he realized it wasn't a beach ball at all. It was a distended, obese, and disgusting belly. The creature's skin was yellow with polka dots. Its mouth was large and lipless. It had no eyes, only empty sockets, and its nose was huge and red. <laughs> it sat up and looked at him with blank sockets. With its large hand, it slapped its belly, and with its right, it honked its nose. It was a clown. The scariest clown Johnny had ever seen. He scrambled backwards as that thing got to its feet. It must have been yeah. two and a half meters tall. Johnny turned onto his knees and scrambled forward as fast as he could, screaming and crying. He ran back the way he came. As he broke forth from the tents, he found the circus quiet. Hardly anybody was around, and the lights were being turned off. He felt trapped. He didn't know what was happening. And where was his father? He looked around and saw nothing. Where was everyone? There. In the distance, he saw the red balloon. Oh my god. Dad. He took off at a run, tears streaming down his face. Finally, his dad would believe him and take him home. He dashed around one tent, then another, his eyes on the sky and the balloon. He tripped and fell. Didn't matter. He was up and off again. He was almost there. He yelled out, Dad! Dad! As he rounded the final tent, he came skidding to a halt in the dirt. As he looked up, he saw the balloon, but no dad. It was floating and bouncing feet away from him. Oh my god. To a pole. It had what looked like hands and feet poking out of it. What kind of weird balloon was this? It bounced and danced and slowly rotated. As it spun around, Johnny's mouth opened wide. It had a head. It wasn't a balloon at all. It was a clown. It looked down at Johnny and opened its mouth. Its tongue extended like a lizard as its body floated and bobbed. Just at that moment, someone or something grabbed him from behind and pulled him away. What was that? I can't make sounds like that. Yeah. The last thing he saw before fainting was that scientists and his agents rushing towards the balloon clown. Please explain what you were doing prior to your apprehension. Listen, face. I don't go to your job and pull the anomalous out of your I got work to do, and Mr. Fuller ain't exactly the most patient bloke. So you Yeah, they didn't say the name. I knew they wouldn't. Well, in the, the interview... The interviewer was Dr. The Come Bucky. Everyone, this is my favorite place to go to. That's why I get pregnant so many times. Oh, hey, Hatchet. Uh, that's fair, Hatchet. I hope you stream as well. Before we continue the video, uh, Hatchet. Just look how poorly the videos are doing so far. Isn't that wonderful? Don't you wish you were here with us? The bot the totally I'm excited, don't I? Yeah, the final score is basically how close it is to the actual article. It's going yeah, downhill. Fifty like percent. Yeah. One was was twenty five percent, one was 
two or thirty <laughs> percent. Previous two or five percent. <laughs> yeah. All right, Cheery. You ready to continue? Yeah. You're a member of Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting? Yeah. What's it to you? What is your profession? Clown breeder. Excuse me? You deaf? I'm a motherfucking clown breeder. How exactly does one become a clown breeder? My father was a clown breeder. My father's father was a clown breeder. My father's father's father? Well, he was a horse feeder. And what does this job actually entail? You that f***ing stupid? It's in the goddamn name. Enlighten me. I breed clowns. I see. Is this an old profession? You mentioned your father and grandfather. Well, in the real old days, you didn't have no breeders. Back then, the best we had was child breakers. Child breakers? What? You think old freaks are just born that way? Body does a lot of growing when young. Just gotta help it along a certain path. Of course. Back then, you could only make a hunchback. Nah, they deserve more credit. I mean, the Laughing Man, Turtle Boy, hell, the Inside Out Girl? They was done the old way. What do they eat? Circus peanuts, purple water, and what exactly is that? Gee, marshmallows, has to look like a peanut. And purple water is purple water. You s they did not mention that. No, they didn't. Sugar dyed purple. Not sugar, not purple water. He didn't mention what the food and drinks were. They added that. Fresh <laughs> cussing. Oh my god. Also, circus peanuts are not just peanuts. Yeah. They're banana flavored marshmallows. Yeah. Food dye. As you say, I think that is all we need at the moment. Thank you for your time. F you. Take them in. I want them in individual humanoid containment units. Yeah, good night, Hatchet. Also, why are they making him look cool? <laughs> it's like you make him look like bad for some reason. Doing that because it's... <laughs> they want their own character to be cool. Yeah. replacing an actual character. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. I gotta do something real quick. So apparently they said here quiet on stream for a bit. I just upped your volume for a bit on my end. Anyways. All right. Uh, sorry. You're fine. I think I need to look back through your five of these. This one later. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Well. Have fun suffering with us. Yeah. <laughs> Go for the lowest better, one first. Better for the final interest time. <laughs> Watch the lowest rated one. Yeah. 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 All right, let's go. Let's finish this one off. How's them at biological containment site 66? As for this guy, take him in too. What just happened? They just exploded. All three of them. You f***ing shit eaters forgot to milk the clowns, didn't you? Way to ruin a decade of work, you f***ing. About time you got here. Is that a smile or a frown? I can never tell with you. A liability? Come on. I'm the best clown breeder you got. And There's no expression. He's just sitting there speaking. There's no expression. I'm sorry, I hate that. I hate it when animations characters don't give expressions when they speak. You know what I mean? They just sit there, do nothing. Yeah. Oh my god. Mr. Fuller knows it. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed SCP-2912. 
my god. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Removal of characters slash license. <laughs> The license they did fine, but they did. Yeah, they. And yeah. the three clowns were in their own uh, files. Yeah. Sadly, I think this is a two. Yeah. Do you think it's a three or a two? Probably two, because they do include the other two clowns. Well, they technically do include. I said before, right. they're barely there. They're heavily. Uh, it's a free, isn't it? I guess so. I think about it. Yeah. Edit gore or violence? Four. Yeah. <laughs> Demons from the plot in the article. Four. <laughs> yeah. Only men in the video. Added a woman. I feel like so that she'll still get a rating of two because yeah. they removed an entire character and they turned characters who had no discernible gender into like two guys and a lady. Yeah. Uh, All right, change it to two. All right. It's better than five. Right? It's better than five? Yeah. I want to do next thing. We can do one more SCP tonight. Uh. <laughs> yeah. It's better than 5%. I don't think I have time for another SCP. Well, I was going to go to two. Oh. So we probably have time for one more. I had to think about it. Probably just one more. I have to take a bath and wash clothes. And you just want to end it now? Well, first, let's see the the percentage of the last. But it would be nice if that was the last. It's 15%. Well, it's more than the last two. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we definitely know they're probably worse than the rubber. Good, good news, this this content farm has stopped doing anomaly stuff for a year. Good. Yeah. 